I feel upset. I feel sad. I feel afraid. Um, I have to fight off feeling bitter, uh, cynical. Um, there's, there's a lot <laughs> that I've been feeling over the last year and particularly this last week as, as a black man. Um, and all that's in the mix for me and most of my minorities I, I've spoken to feel in very similar ways. But even more fundamentally for me, uh, an identity that's actually at, at ground level for me, that's been at ground level for me since I was seven years old, is that I'm a Christian. That's my foundation. And that means, as a Christian, always within me is the hope of God and the love of Jesus. Like that's always there at ground level. And so I need space to deal with my emotions, to be able to express them like, like the psalmists do. <laughs> Um, the, what I feel, but what I'm trying to do is reach deeper into this foundation I have as a Christian, into the hope of God and the love of Jesus, and pull that up. And so that as I express these emotions, I want to land ultimately in the hope of God and the love of Jesus. Like, I know that's there. It's always there. My effort is to constantly just pull from that reservoir, that foundation, as I work through these emotions. Um, and that's what I want for, for any of you who feel similar ways, whether you feel tired or feel more than that, you feel angry, bitter, cynical, afraid, is to not just stay there, to express those emotions, but to, to draw from, if you're a Christian, to draw from this well that God has placed within us the moment you believe in Jesus so that you land ultimately in hope and love. That's what I want to do, but honestly, I, I need you all's help to do that. <laughs> I can't do it alone. I, I, if you want me to last for another 15 years, I need help to do it. <laughs> um, any of us who feel these ways need help to do it. Here's how we get that help. It's in community. I need us. I need one another. I need all of us. If you are part of this church, you consider this to be part of your church, you are connected to this church. I want you to understand very clearly, you're not connected to the evangelical church in America. I don't know what that is, I don't know if I even want to be part of it. What I am connected to is this church, Roosevelt Community Church that's been here for the last 15 years. I'm a member of this church. I care about this church. I want to operate out of this church. I want the help of this church. We need the help of this church. And so uh, we need to, to, to speak and to act and to post out of community, out of the context of of this church. That's, that's how we help one another. That's how being united together in Christ, I believe the reason the Bible speaks so often about being united in Christ is because of what it does for us. And it's not just witness to the world. It's also a way, it's witness to each other. It's ways in which we help and support one another. It's, it's ways in which we can hold each other up. It's ways in which I can lean on the love and hope that some of you all have. And, and sometimes when I have love and hope, you can lean on my love and hope so that together we express love and hope to a world that seems drastically devoid of it. Um, we feel these emotions because sadly it seems our country uh, seems unable to honestly deal with the issue of race. It seems as if we can, can't really deal with it faithfully, peacefully, fruitfully. There's a huge struggle here. We have something that's eternal. The Bible says something that lasts forever. The hope of God, the love of Jesus. And so we need one another to be able to do that. So I want you to think of how, for the sake of one another, how we function out of connection with one another here. So as you speak, as you act, as you post, you do so in connection to this particular church. What does that mean? Uh, we as a church have certain values, don't we? Uh, we believe in being Jesus devoted and being biblically rooted. We believe in being grace motivated. We believe that we are diverse family. We believe we are city servants. What you say, what you do, what you post, it should reflect those values. It should come out of those values. You know, as, a, as a church community, uh, we believe that we always operate in conversation with one another, in connection and love with one another. So what you say, what you do, what you post, you don't do it as a, an individual. You do it at a context of this community. So what you say, what you do, what you post, always do so thinking I'm in conversation with the people here. 
I'm in connection with the people here, and I'm responsible to them in what I say and what I do and what I post. And what you say, what you do, and what you post, we as a church want to do so wisely. We as a church aren't just, con- aren't just concerned about just saying things just to say them. Right? It's not just enough to say something that's true. We need to say it wisely. And what's, what's wisdom? Well, James 5 tells us what's wisdom. Wisdom that's from above is first pure, it's peaceable, it's gentle, it's open to reason, it's full of mercy and good fruits, it's impartial and sincere. So there's things that can be said that may be true, but it's not wisdom. It's not wisdom from above. When you speak and what you do and what you post, reflect the wisdom that's from above if you're part of this community.